That was President Muhammadu Buhari signing the 9.12 trillion Naira 2018 budget into law. Speaking earlier, the president disclosed that he was not pleased with the budget passed by the National Assembly. The president, in very strong words, said distortions and alterations made by the lawmakers would largely affect implementations. The National Assembly made cuts amounting to 347 billion Naira in the allocation to 4,700 projects submitted to them for consideration and introduced 6,403 projects of their own amounting to 578 billion naira. Many of the projects cut are critical and may be difficult, if not impossible, to implement with the reduced allocation. Some of the new projects inserted by the National Assembly have not been properly conceptualized, designed, and costed, and will therefore be difficult to execute. Reading from a 22-paragraph prepared speech, the president highlighted some of the major projects and programs that would be affected by the deductions made by the lawmakers. Critical infrastructure project in the FCT Abuja, especially major arterial roads and the mass transit rail project were cut by a total of 7.5 billion naira. A total of 5 billion naira was cut from the provision for pension redemption fund and public service wage adjustment. Despite the perceived anomalies, President Buhari explained why he had to sign the budget, disclosing that he would put together a supplementary budget to address the wrongs. Notwithstanding the above stated observations, I have decided to sign the 2018 budget in order not to further slow down the pace of recovery of our economy, which has doubtlessly been affected by the delay in passing the budget. However, it is my intention to seek to remedy some of those critical of these issues through a supplementary and or amendment budget. Senate Deputy Leader Bala Ibn Naala, who stood in for Senate President Bukola Saraki after the event, tried to explain to journalists why the National Assemblies made the alterations. The job of parliamentarians is a very difficult one. Uh, the way the budget came, if we have allowed it to go that way, we will have been in trouble with those who elected us into office. You have to balance between the six geopolitical zones. So it's, it's the balancing effort by the National Assembly that led to those observations. But Chief Whip of the House of Reps, al as and Ado Dogo, who stood in for Speaker Yakubu Dugara at the event, appeared to share the sentiments expressed by President Muhammad Buhari. Some of these major concerns Mr. President has raised are very critical. I want to believe that the President is, uh, is at liberty to raise some of these observations he has raised. Uh, but the most important thing you have to note is that the budget is at least now signed by the President. For now, the 2018 budget is signed into law and Nigerians wait anxiously to see the impact it would make on their lives and the nation's economy. The concerns raised by President Muhammadu Buhari over the delay in the passage of the budget as well as alleged distortions of figures by the National Assembly will obviously continue to generate reaction. Those around the president will perceive this as an attempt by the lawmakers to frustrate his government, while those backing the lawmakers believe that they have established a fact that they are not the rubber stamp of the executive arm of government. From the Asorok Presidential Villa, Amikaro Atta, ITV News, Abuja.